Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and as you can see, this is going to be a video on our Phillies, as it's a couple days late, but doing a video on Ryan Sheriff getting claimed by the Philadelphia Phillies. As the Phillies try to do what many clubs have much more success with them doing, getting cheap claims or acquisitions via the trade market for the reliever pool, and then actually turning them into something. This is, of course, the second straight year the Phillies are going to pick from a guy that has good stuff, you hear the quote-unquote, which is true with Alvarado, we saw the good stuff, but has flaws, which is, I believe it's like, he had 44 walks or something uh, this year to only 61 strikeouts or something like that, if we're talking about Jose Alvarado, so the Phillies are trying to pick from Tampa again to get somebody they can turn into a solid reliever. When it comes to Jose Alvarado, I would say they turned him from Tampa Bay as I'm pulling up his numbers here. He just pitched like a adequate um, reliever, really, and nothing more. He pitched below, av well, honestly, not even adequate, a 4-2-8 as a reliever. As a starter, that's like a fifth starter numbers, but as a reliever, you would want to have under a 4 ERA, so I wouldn't even say that. He just pitched meh. Really, 66 Ks, 42 uh, baseballs. So you would want to, he's still on the young, he's still young, so don't get me wrong. He could rebound. Relief pitchers are so back and forth and so up and down. It's like a very hard, it's like looking at a stock of a company that's here one day and then down and up and up. Like that's literally relief pitcher stocks change every year. We've seen Kimbrel obviously have a great start to his career filter out for a bit, then start to bounce back. We've seen multiple guys do that when it comes to relief pitching, so it's a really weird market to pick from, but it's one that other teams have success doing via the way they scout and via the way they look and train and coach people, where our Philadelphia Phillies for years now, about 10 years honestly, have not had good success at picking the right guys other than a select few well, yeah, we're going to knock him for how he did as a closer, but in terms of developing as a whole and how we saw him as a setup man this year, the Phillies from getting Hector overseas and developing him actually did a pretty solid job. He has one of the better splitters in the league. What they should have done is just convinced him to pitch his other pitches like they did started to do this year with Girardi much longer ago, but at least they developed him into a solid guy. Maybe they can have that going. For sure, for Alvarado, we would hope he gets it going more next year because, again, a 4 2 8, 66 strikeouts to 42 balls. You see the absolutely nasty stuff, but he's just not able to get it going. But when it comes to Ryan Sheriff, he had a 281 ERA with Durham last year and was not good in major league um, experience, competing with a 5.52 mark in just 14 and two thirds innings. Because he struggles with his control again. He struck out 9.8 batters per 9 innings, but he walked 5.5 per 9 innings. So this is another guy just like Jose Alvarado. You talk about the ability he has to pitch. The key here, though, one of the big things is the Phillies, um, when it comes to sliders, they threw nearly 200 fewer sliders. Um, Rob, the realist, R Muto or whatever, he tweets out some good stats about the uh, Phillies on Twitter. Through nearly 200 fewer sliders than any other team in baseball, mostly because they didn't have guys that had good, consistent sliders, where it is increasingly slider-heavy league that needed to be addressed, and Sheriff is a slider first, a very much slider guy, kind of like, to a lesser degree, pitch velocity, but how we love to see what Jake Diekman had a sinking pitches and then mixed in the slider to a more 91, 92 mile per hour philosophy. That is really the type of pitcher Ryan Sheriff actually um, is. He has profiles that are sinker that sits in the low 90s and to not about 93 max, and then just has a perfect type movement-wise and the rotation, like all the analytical stats you like to look at, on his slider. Now it's about trying to figure out, just like the Phillies are still trying to figure out with Jose Alvarado, how to control his pitches and kind of get in the groove and get his confidence going so he can have some success like we even seen somebody not for the long term. That's what I'm saying, relief pitching so kind of back and forth. We saw Diekman have some good success here 
like that with his slider or even somebody that annoyed me, don't get me wrong, at the end of his career. But the beginning when he first came up was actually good. And that's, again, how back and forth relief pitching is. We saw him be able to have control when he first came up and then he lost it was Bastardo with his slider. You have to find a way to try to keep this guy to have his control and keep it going, find a philosophy that will make it so he doesn't just have the scout report of he has the nasty stuff, he has the spin rate, he has the degree of the drop or whatever else you want to describe it as. All that's fine and dandy. It doesn't mean anything if you can't locate a pitch in the strike zone. So it's going to be on the Phillies. You added a guy that has minor league options still, which is good. So it's a good depth move. As of right now, it's about seeing if it's more than just a good depth move. Alvarado, obviously, when you picked him up, was a guy a bigger name than Ryan Scherf, a guy that actually has pitched in some bigger moments and also obviously lit the league on storm when he first came up with the Rays. You don't say the same about Scherf. He's just a solid go-by-the-workload um relief pitcher that just shows up every day and has had some good stretches. Now it's about trying to make his good stretches into an actual good MLB career and not just minor league career. So it's going to be on the Phillies to see if they can do that with Ryan Sheriff. So far, they haven't really done it with Jose Alvarado. He's only been meh. So you're going to want to see him get better next year, and you're going to want to see Sheriff come in with Cotham and the new people we have to help develop players that we hire Manningly Son for to get. And you're going to want to see how this goes. We'll see if he makes the roster due to the lack of slider competition we have in our bullpen. I'm assuming the Phillies might address that in the offseason, too, and should. But if he doesn't, then he still has the minor league options, and hopefully they can get him going and develop into something down there. So this has been a reaction to Ryan Sheriff getting claimed by the Philadelphia Phillies, as well as talking about Alvarado, since they kind of connect because they both came from the Rays, both have control problems, different pitchers, one in Sherb, 91-92 sinker slider, obviously Alvarado can gun it even up to 100, and has that slider, so Sheriff honestly could be easier to coach for that reason into control, because you don't have to tell him, you don't have to throw it through people in order to get them out, and convince him out of that mindset like you might have to with Jose, but anyway, this has been a reaction to the Ryan Sheriff claimed by the Philadelphia Phillies. Have a great day and pleasant day, everybody, and go Phillies. Make some good pickups this offseason.